Hello guys and welcome back to part number 8 of Let's Play The Sims 3 Midnight Hollow mini series and we are picking up exactly where we left off. Um, I have been doing some pre-filming, I have been filming, I think this is like my 6th video, like <laughs> Starbucks and me, we are doing awesome. Remember that little like Starbucks ban I was on? Yeah that failed terribly. Like I think it lasted 3 days. Ugh. Stupid, it's ridiculous. I'm gonna probably get so much crap, but it's the truth. It's like it's like crack. Okay, let's just be honest. Um, very expensive, to be real. But anyway, Ipsy decided to after she um got involved in some business she shouldn't have and singed the pants off of Mr. Yates, she cooked, which is very un very un like normal. Um and uh, you know, made some um salad for everybody and uh you know, that's it. <laughs> she she's just trying to kinda like stay stay out of everyone's way now that she um went and let her magic get the best of her. <laughs> and this is Yates. This is the one that she singed. It's amazing, I know. Um still looks like he's wearing a costume, but she's gonna go and compliment Katrina's party. Her and Katrina are amazing friends, and I think it'd be kind of cool if her and Katrina moved in together. Um, you know, they should. They should move in, I think. And I think also Itsy wants to adopt a, adopt a child. She wants to give her love, um, all of her love into someone. You know, like I said earlier in the other part, kind of to almost fulfill the missing the missing piece in her in her corazón. <laughs> I don't know why we're still standing here. Or like everybody is just right here in this little freaking puddle. I don't know where Katrina is. We got three hot dogs. Like, okay, someone really likes hachos. But uh, okay, we finally found her. Now we want to cast another fire spell. No, girl, you already have done enough damage for one day. I'm going to see if she wants to become a roommate. Maybe. I really like her. I think she's fun. Um, you know, I think she would be cool. Okay, she's a party animal. That might be a little different, but we're going to try. We're going to see if she would like to be move in with us. I mean, we could just do it basic, you know, like be roommates or whatever, but uh, I really want her house. Well, I don't want her house, but, like, I want her money. <laughs> and I can't marry anyone, so. Um, oh, no, 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 no. I don't know what you're doing, boo-boo, but you're messing up, my, messing up my scene here. Uh, okay, uh, let's go ahead and compliment her home. And let's be friendly again and ask about her book. And we got a phone call. It's probably from Rob. Not interested, but thanks. Okay. Okay, let's see. Can we please, like, really, though? All right. And it's kind of funny because she is a party animal. It's like, they have the best freaking parties. They really do because we've had a great, like, a great time here, I think. Um, and if you're trying to wonder where the rest of the party is, it was in part number seven. So definitely, if you haven't seen that part, check it out. Um, it might help you out a little bit so you understand what's going on. Okay, so we think we're sociable. We really should ask now. Okay. She's never lived with, like, one of her friends before. I mean, she doesn't really have friends. Oh, my God, we're going to earn nothing but $27,000. Ugh. And we're going to lose this really cool house. All right. Well, I guess something is better than nothing. And we'll go ahead and do it. And we'll see if we can move as well um, with this money. I really like Katrina. She's kind of cool. So let's see here. Um, I guess 20K is better than no K. And I think the party is pretty much over. <laughs> I think it's over. Um, okay, so we earned actually twenty thousand dollars. She actually has a job, and she's oh, she did cheat on Morgan Yates. No wonder. Oh, cause she's in love with Jack. This guy. What? She's a little hoochie mama. Um. All right, so we're moving out of here. She's gonna pee her pants. I'm gonna, I'm gonna boost up a little bit. There we go, because I really would be embarrassed if she peed on the tights. But um, let's just have her go home and see if she has anything that we can like get rid of and stuff, and see if we can um move into a, just a bigger house. Like I'd be happy with that. I don't know if we can though, but we're we're gonna try. We are going to try. Um, uh, but I need to get Robbie's painting out first. So let's go ahead. We actually have a car now, which is kind of cool. Um, but we can sell that. But before we sell anything or do anything, I do want to go ahead and take this painting. And we can sell this book here. Oh, we can't? Or we can. Let's see. 
Uh, let's go ahead and sell this book for some cash. This camera too. Okay, um, this toy Yeti is not worth a hell of a lot. And I think this might be... Okay, it's not really worth anything. Alright. What is that noise? Okay, there's a crow, like, kookin. Kook rockin. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing, but he's being really annoying. He's right by my window. Shut up. Um, seriously. Stop it. I can just hear him. He's like... I don't know, he's just making a weird cross sound. Anyways, you probably can't hear it, but it's, like, super <gasps> annoying. Only because I'm filming. Alright, so... Can we go ahead and see about moving? Well, obviously, we're going to take the gatos, so... Okay. Um, we are going to have $40,000. Oh, heck yes. $42,000. I think so. Let's go ahead and see what we can buy, guys. Oh, nothing. Um, let me see. I need something a lot bigger, like a three-bedroom. <laughs> Beggars can't be choosers, you say? There's, like, nothing here. Uh, how much is this one? How much is that? Jesus, all of these houses are super freaking expensive. Like, whoa. I don't think we can afford any of this. This is really upsetting. These houses are so much money. Ugh. Oh my god, no, we can't. Oh, now I'm stuck. <laughs> Curious home? Is that what we live in? I don't even know how much ours is worth right now. The whimsical shack. I mean, if we could find something that has kind of a big lot, I think that would be good. Um, we could actually build up on it a little bit. Or we could probably build on ours, too. But I don't know why this is so difficult. Um. Okay, we're going to have to earn some more money. We just don't have anything at all. We need to get, like, a bigger house for sure, for sure. So I guess they're going to have to, like, totally sleep in the same bed. Or you know what? We can just get two separate beds. I mean, we have the money for that, right? And the bed sucks anyway. So um, we're going to go ahead and do that. And then I'm going to wait till she can, like, get the genie or something. And I will use that just this once. Because the houses are buku expensive. And there's no way we're going to reach that much money in, in any of these parts. Like, I don't think. Anyway. So let's just put the one bed here. And we'll put the litter box like that. And we'll go ahead and put this one here. I'm going to make Ipsy's bed probably match the rest of the furniture. I would assume. <clears throat> like that. And then let me see what else I can do here. Is this the same one? Yeah, okay. And then we're just going to... No, this is not it. You try to trick me. Anyways. All right, we'll just color hers to make it kind of girly. Because she's obviously like a Barbie girl. Um, maybe not that girly. Or that girly. Or that girly. I don't know. This one isn't too bad. Um, sure, but we'll make it a little darker. Okay. So, and then we'll go back to Ipsy's bed and make her sheets. Dark purple. No, it's too dark. Okay. Let's see. Uh, I guess that's okay for now. So now that we have that kind of set up, we definitely need to make more money. Ipsy, on the other hand, want, needs to earn quite a few more skills and simoleons. Um, Katrina, on the other hand, actually wants to be the jack of all trades. She's going to be an adult in a little while. Um, this is going to be your bed. Just saying. Um, she's actually going to go ahead and prepare some mac and cheese, so it's kind of cool. She likes to cook. This whole situation is just pretty much a lost cause in my like my mind, and I'm just going to sell it all. Like, I am not interested in selling. I hope you guys don't get mad at me, but, I mean, it's just it's just not working out. Um, I would like to actually have an alchemy store, and if we could get money to do that, that would be amazing. Um, I think... I think Ipsy is going to adopt. I know that's like so much to do on this plate, but I really want her to have a child. And you know, they're they're living together to help each other out because you know, Katrina's alone in that big uh, uh, the big house. And you know, I think Ipsy kind of wants a friend. So for now, it works out pretty well, um, in my personal opinion. So let's go ahead and see if we can actually adopt a child. Uh, I want to. I think I do. I've never done it in a game, and I just kind of see, like, it's it's fitting. 
in this let's play. <laughs> so let's go ahead and I don't know, we may not even be able to do it, but let's try. I don't know if we can do adoption service. Okay, cool. Yeah, we'll Says, would you like adopt? Oh, that's we'll wonderful. Back. We'll send a social worker out to visit you right away. <laughs> Perfect. Uh -huh. Very cool. So while um, Katrina here makes some food, we are just going to have Ipsy probably go and work on her alchemy a little bit. Okay, and we're gonna have um, we're gonna have patches. Go ahead and. Uh, Search for prey or stock for prey. Magic is again sleeping on the table, but when he wakes up, we'll have him go ahead and scratch. So let's see. Katrina's actually doing pretty well, and I think we're gonna I think we're gonna change her appearance probably in this part or the next part. I'm not sure though. Alright, are we researching our alchemy? And we still have this little um <clears throat> little costume thing on it. Oh my gosh, this lot is like full of uh, spawners. I love it. Because we're actually finding a lot of things here. Kinda cool. Okay, so we will definitely have to collect that. And she wants to reach level four of the alchemy skill, which is amazing. I don't think we've really earned anything, um, but I don't really see a point in having this. So we're just gonna, we're gonna go ahead and sell that. And we did earn a little bit of money towards our promotion. All right, oh, she, I was gonna say, she only made one plate for just her. That's kind of rude. Um, who are you huckling? <laughs> Where's the social worker? Like, I feel like this is taking an extremely long time for our kid to be here. Um, okay. Oh, adopt a child. Uh, we could do a baby. Um, I want a girl. Um, I want to do a child, though. Or a toddler. Toddler child. Toddler child. Baby. Definitely no baby because we don't have room for it. Um, but if we did baby, then we could do play mat. Baby would be really hard. All right, let's just do the damn baby. Uh, what should we name her? We're gonna name her Heidi, I think. There we go. We're gonna name her Heidi. Alrighty, so where is our baby? What is this? Quit job. You don't like your job? Oh, look, she's so cute. And look at the little carriage. <gasps> Can we keep the carriage? Oh, look at her. She's so adorable. I'm, oh, she wants to get married. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and Katrina's the one that actually picked up Heidi. Oh, I love her. I love her so much. And she's, oh, she's so beautiful. I have tears in my eyes. I feel so proud for, like, um, for her. Not for her, but for <laughs> Ipsy, rather. All right, so she's going to be an amazing helper to, um, to Ipsy. We do need to get a crib, obviously. I don't know where we're going to stick this. This house is just way too freaking small. Um, maybe if we actually built on a room. That would be kind of smart, wouldn't it? All right, so what I'm going to do is actually going to build on a room. Um, and I'm going to kind of just upgrade this house because we do have some space. So I will be right back when that is all finished and, of course, complete. All right, so the renovations are complete. Almost, actually. I forgot to do one thing out here, but we'll do that later. Anyway, so this is kind of what the house looks like. Um, it's pretty much the exact same um, as it was, just extended on either side, and it actually is quite roomy and quite comfy, so that really really does work for me personally. Um, let's see, Heidi here has her own little room, and this is what it looks like. Kind of matches her little, her little blankie and, um, Ipsy's room is very empty now. All she has is the cat litter box. We push the bathroom over here, and Katrina's room is over there. We even have a little more of an actual, an actual uh, area to kind of like sit and hang out and stuff. Katrina's really tired, so she's gonna go ahead and uh, hit the sack. But for some reason, all of a freaking sudden, oh. She got really lonely, which is weird. And of course, she's gonna go play with her daughter, um, which I think is really, really cute. Um, that she just hit, hit that, like, hit the wall and and decided she wanted to spend some time with her daughter. See, that's what I'm saying by like her feelings and stuff. You know what I mean? It's kind of weird. Like she's investing her emotions into this child, and uh, you know, it's great that she gave her a good home and and all of that. 
so she's gonna go ahead and fill the bowl i think heidi is pretty good heidi actually ages up in two more days so part 10 i believe um there isn't really much else to be had let's go ahead and uh feed or we'll let pa patches 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 <laughs> <laughs> patches <laughs> right i'm like thinking i'm questioning myself is that his name her name uh we'll let her sniff our hand okay and she's still wearing that freaking costume what is magic doing he is grooming himself good kitty all right spend a little time with him we'll feed treat i keep calling it a him and i understand it's not <gasps> no bueno no bad <laughs> my god gosh freaked out on me all right well whatever it's late anyways so we're probably just gonna go ahead and go to sleep because that was a little a little crazy um all right so whenever someone wakes up we will pick up from there all righty so it looks like the first one is Katrina, she's actually up bright and early. She's definitely the ray of sunshine in this house. Um, she actually wants to buy a mistletoe and rock a baby in a, in a baby swig or not even, oh my gosh, Jen, seriously, a rocker, my mistake. Um, so yeah, we're just definitely gonna go ahead and uh, let, her, let her just take care of Heidi here. She seems to be a really good, um, like a good kind of like mother role almost which is really important um because ipsy here isn't just gonna trust anyone with her baby so we'll let her go ahead and just kind of spend some time with her and see if we can rock with heidi i don't know if we can yeah i was gonna say because i have this at an angle so look how cute i wonder what she's gonna look like because we don't know the parents right so it's gonna be complete and utter mystery she does look like a barbie just sitting there it's kind of funny um what time does she go to work? She starts in a day, in an hour. So it's winter now, and it should be, like, kind of start getting really cold and, and rainy and stuff. Or not rainy, but just cold. Um, All right. I really don't know what else to say here. I think she's pretty good. We're going to go ahead and just put her back in, in the crib, since that's just something she wanted to do. Uh, I don't know if it's going to count, but we'll see. All right, let's just go ahead and, yeah, it did, sweet. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and put her in, back in her crib, and we're kinda gonna get, um, I'm still not used to her name, Katrina, kinda ready for her day as well. She's gonna go ahead and text her boo, maybe invite him over. She's actually gonna clean the shower too, cause it's kinda dirty. Um, she's gonna call Jack Lim and see what he's up to, okay. And I think Ipsy's just about to go ahead and um, get up. So let's see. She should, because she's been sleeping like all freaking night. So let's go ahead and have her make the bed. She wants to, we're going to just forget about Robbie. She wants to snuggle Heidi. So I think that's a perfect idea. We should probably definitely get to know our daughter more. We should snuggle her. We're going to play. We're going to even go ahead and I think that's all we can really do. Um, and Katrina over here has a phone call while she's in the shower. That's a little strange. So let's go ahead and actually answer the phone. Oh, and it's Jack. Oh, my booski. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and uh, answer the phone here. See what this man has to say. Would you like to talk? Sure. And after she's done, we will go ahead and actually have her change her appearance. Oh, she wants to skate on a pond. How sweet. All right, I think that's pretty much it for Heidi. Let's go ahead and put Heidi back in her crib. I want to see if we can get her like a play mat too. So I'm thinking we should go ahead and kind of clean up our mess here. And then we're going to go to the toy shop and uh, create some some toys. Yep, that's what we're going to do. And, uh, you know, who the hell is this? Oh, at least someone's playing with our gatos. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see what she's talking about. She's just chatting with her man. That's funny. I cannot believe she actually did cheat on, um, on, what's wrong with, where's the door? Um, okay. I cannot believe she actually did kind of cheat on Morgan and, like, Ipsy caught him on fire. <laughs> <laughs> he thought he was being rude. She thought he was being rude to Katrina, but in reality, it was actually Katrina who cheated on him, which I think is funny. Yeah, Damn, girl, you got eyes for days. We are definitely going to have to 
just fix up her appearance a little bit here because those eyes are creeping me out like you know alien status so I don't know what kind of hair to give her actually just anything would be a little bit better Ugh, maybe not um I don't know I mean she's a Barbie right so what kind of hair does Barbie have long flowy straight though so I don't know let's try a couple a couple different styles I kind of like that that reminds me of Barbie the other one there this one reminds me of Barbie too but this one more so. So we'll go ahead and go with that. Um, I know a lot of you really like get bothered. Oh, geez. That's not a good example. Um, when I darken their eyebrows, I just, I don't know. I've never seen a blonde person with like blonde eyebrows. Like that wasn't older, like an adult. Like I've never seen it. Like usually their eyebrows dark get darker when they're older. But even if your eyebrows are light, I'm not saying anything. So don't, don't get twisted now. But I'm just, I'm saying I like darker eyebrows. There's nothing wrong with that. Okay. All right. So I can't really decide. I think she needs to have some thicker eyebrows, though. Um, not that thick. Oh, jeez. All right. Well, what can we go with? All right. Fine. We'll just stick with those. Um, her makeup, I'm going to make it a little more Barbie-esque. You know, Barbie has blue eyeshadow, so I don't understand. Oh, not that kind of blue. Um, oh, that's pretty. <laughs> that's actually really cute. All right, let's go ahead and mess around a little bit. Uh, what is the eye color here? I think it's this, right? That's just too crazy. Um, should we do like a dark blue? I don't know. I don't really want to like mess up her makeup, but okay, let's just stick to the basics. How about this one? Let's try it. Um, I think that's okay. I mean, it's kind of like what she had going on. I think the only thing I'm really going to change is probably her blush. Okay, I don't really know if any of this is making a difference, but we will definitely give her some different lips. And she needs something very pinky and Barbie-ish, I think. So let's try a different style. Um, I think that's kind of Barbie-ish. This would be more Barbie, too. be like a Barbie pink. And then if I just lightened this up a little bit. Okay. I think that's kind of cute. A little more Barbie-ish, but not really. I mean, I didn't put too much effort into that. Mostly focusing in on the hair. I'm going to give her some different colored contacts, I think. If we're going to give her, like, this doll effect for real, um, I want her to have dolly eyes. Or prettier eyes, I think. Anyway. Okay. I think those are kind of good. They're really, like, really bright. Um, let's brighten these up a little bit. Oh, my gosh. They're, like, dark. Let's see. I don't like those at all. It kind of looks like an alien. <laughs> let's try this. I don't know. I don't like any of these. All right. Let's just have her stick with these, then. These are, like, kind of the most natural, in my opinion. All right, well, whatever. We'll just we'll just stick with that. Am I spending way too much time in creative sim? Way too much time. But anyways, that is that. Um, I think she looks a little bit better um, than she did. Jack is, what is he doing? I don't know what he's doing. He's just probably doing whatever he's doing. They're not really an item either, but we're going to have her serve some lunch, do some peanut butter and jelly. Let Ipsy handle her kid, please. Like, I hate... I mean, I don't, like, hate it, but, like, it kind of makes me upset when Sims that aren't the parents kind of, like, get a ball in their business. Do you know what I mean? Like, they kind of don't let the actual parent do what they're supposed to do. It's kind of annoying. Uh, let's just clean up these newspapers. Speaking of annoying, I'm probably sure some of you have been yelling at me for the last three parts that I've pre-filmed about these newspapers, but, uh... There we go. It's a done deal. So after she goes ahead and changes Aww. Heidi, um, I think we're just going to go run over and make a quick toy really fast. So while um, Katrina's here. And we are going to put Heidi back in the crib. Okay. We changed her. So why didn't her her thing go up? Didn't work? All right. Well, let's just... It should have. That's kind of weird that it didn't work. Uh, let's try to change her diaper again. Okay, that worked. All right, so let's just put Heidi in the crib, and we are going to go over to the Golden Ticket Toy Shop, which is, I believe, right here. 
And while we're here, we're going to let Katrina go ahead and just kind of watch uh, Heidi. Speaking of parents doing their job and me getting upset when they intervene, I'm totally letting uh, uh, our friend Katrina here pick up the slack. But that's okay. Once in a while. Doesn't hurt. All right. So let's go ahead and do that. And I think I've already shown you guys how to make toys and all that jazz. So it's, it's really nothing new. But I do want to actually um, show that off in this let's play even though i think i've shown it off in a few other ones so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go make the baby play mats um i think we're gonna make the drum clown in the box and why not go ahead and make baby bricks a lot yeah we'll do all these right now let's see how fast this happens so we got our our play mats very cool next is our drum last thing no not last thing the other thing is the jack-in-the-box <laughs> this kid's gonna have so many toys and now the very last thing I think is the baby bricks a lot I'm not 100% sure yep Katrina's got this for sure is it Katrina or Katharina Katrina or Katharina I don't know I don't know which one it is uh, and Ipsy actually wants to hang us some holiday house lights. Very cool. All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and actually end part number eight right here just because we are running out of time. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, don't forget to go ahead and comment and subscribe, rate, and all that stuff if you'd like. And I will see you all in my very next Let's Play. Bye-bye.